Sup everybody, it's Xcalharia back with another art video. Anyway, this video is a 15 minute warm up routine you can follow along with. It's similar to what I do every single day and uh, it seems to work. So I highly suggest you do this every single day as well. Basically, all this is going to be is just tracing some shapes. For the first five minutes, we're going to do straight lines. Then we're going to do circles and ellipses. And lastly, we're just going to place some points and then connect these with straight lines or curved lines. You can find these practice sheets in the description. And if you're doing traditional, you have to get a little creative, but I suggest just printing these out and then using pencil to trace over them and then just erase the pencil when you're done. I'm gonna set a timer for five minutes and here we go. So the goal of this will be to trace these lines very slowly and we're trying to build more control in our line work. I say this is a warm up routine, but it's actually more like just line work practice. So uh, I wouldn't treat this like it's a warm up, but more like mandatory line work practice every single day which is why i suggest you do this every single day by the way the thing with line work is that it doesn't just help you with doing line art as i've seen uh, some people say or think this also helps you with just drawing normally the more control you have over your pen the easier it'll be to draw the exact shapes that your brain wants you to draw like, uh, I know a lot of people struggle with drawing hair, for example. And uh, that's mostly because they just don't have a lot of control over their arm. So it's really hard to draw the desired curves that they want. But then, of course, the more you do this, the better you're going to get at that. Also, try to use singular lines. Try to make them as perfect as you can. Don't use chicken scratch, because uh, we're trying to go for control. Also, I've seen some people say that it's really hard for them to draw straight lines because they've got shaky hands. And uh, that that's why you gotta practice. My hands aren't exactly steady either, but I'm able to draw lines like this because of how much I've practiced this. This is like, I'm like two years into practicing my line art or something like that. So it takes a very long time before you're able to draw clean lines. Two minutes in, let's move on to the horizontal lines. Horizontal ones are a bit harder, I think. There we go. Also, another cool thing about doing this as a warm-up essentially every single day is that it doesn't take a whole lot of brain power. Because I feel like a lot of people are uh, scared to draw or scared to practice because they don't want to... because they feel like they've gotten worse or um, they don't want to practice anything that's too difficult. But then with this sort of practice it's really easy to do you don't have to stress over anything you can even listen to other things in the background listen to music youtube videos whatever you want to do and you can actually improve while basically not using your brain at all so uh pretty good exercise In the past, I've also mentioned a different way to draw lines, which is using overhand grip. Right now I'm using tripod grip, which is just the uh, regular grip that most people use when they're holding a pencil, trying to write stuff. Overhand grip is when you put your hand on top of the pencil and then use your shoulder to draw. So that's also something you can do. And if you want to do that, following along with this video, that also works. It just depends on what you are uh, currently trying to practice. Okay, moving on to the diagonals. We got one minute left. Also, this is not about speed. It's not about how many of these lines you can complete in five minutes. Just go at your own pace. 
it's better to um, only draw a couple lines but do it properly instead of drawing like five sheets of this and make your lines look awful. Honestly, I think I'm actually going a little too fast even, so uh, if you can go slower than this, that's even better. Here we go, five, four, three, two, and one. That's it for the straight lines. Now moving on to the circles. Timer starts now. So for the circles, these are a lot harder than the straight lines, I think, but I also noticed that as soon as I incorporated these into my routine, I got a lot better at drawing lines in general, because most of the lines you draw, unless you're uh, a background artist who only draws buildings, for example, most of the lines you draw are going to be curved lines. So, the better you get at this, the better you're going to be at drawing human bodies, for example. If you want to make this a little harder, you could also... You could also place points around the edges of the, uh... Of the ellipse. Like, for example, you place a point here, place a point there, place a point there, and place a point there. Then make this invisible, and then try to tr uh, trace the shape like this. But this is, of course, a very advanced level, and uh, most people aren't going to be able to do this until, um, unless they've been drawing ellipses for, like, thousands of hours. Like, as you can see here, the uh, ellipse isn't done properly. But then, of course, you would go back and try to fix that. Okay, and remember, try to go as slow as you can. Make sure you perfectly trace the shape. By the way, I don't know if I've talked about this before, but I know some people like to say that you shouldn't trace. Or at least on social media, there's this idea going around that you shouldn't trace because it doesn't make you any better. That only applies to when you're tracing with the intent of practicing anatomy or form or stuff like that. But what we're doing right now is just uh, tracing, uh, practicing for our line work. And in that case, tracing is fine. So don't worry about doing this. You're definitely going to get better every single day if you do this. I see the horizontal ones are a little bit of a struggle. Probably have to practice those more. Hold on, there's another one here. And uh, another thing to keep in mind is that you shouldn't press too hard on your pencil. Try to make your strokes very light, because I could press down this hard, but you want to work with control. You want to be able to control your pen pressure at the same time as your lines. So if you want to make the lines thicker, make them thicker. If you want to make them thinner, you can make them thinner. And to accomplish that, just try to make your stroke as light as possible. If you can uh, keep your pen pressure very light, you'll naturally learn to make it very heavy as well. like we only have one minute left. A 
Here we go. Let's try this one. This one curves extremely subtly. And that's actually really good for drawing humans. Because uh, body parts like the arms and legs, they have very subtle curves to them. So shapes like this are excellent for that. Here we go. 10 seconds. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and done. I guess we'll call it there. Now time for the last exercise, and 3, 2, 1, go. So for this exercise, like I said, I'm just going to place some dots and then connect these, first by ghosting the line, which means I'm drawing the line without actually putting down the mark, and then I put down the line. So for this last exercise, honestly, you could just do whatever you want. This is just the exercise that I want to do, because I feel like this is still what I need to get better at. I can draw curved and straight lines pretty well, but drawing lines to a specific point is what I'm still struggling with. But if you want to do something like blind figure drawing, actually not blind figure drawing, it's called a blind contour drawing, where you have an image, and without looking at your paper, you're just tracing the image. Or uh, let me describe that better. You have an image, a reference in front of you, and then while constantly looking at the reference, you trace it onto your paper. So you don't actually see what you're doing. But by doing that, it makes your hand-eye coordination slightly better. Now, I hate... I hate points that are placed like that because my hand actually covers where they are. I'm going to try to implement some curved shapes into this as well, because the straight lines are fine. But for straight lines, if you really want to draw them, you could always use a ruler. But for curved lines, it doesn't work like that. You have to be able to draw these freehand. Also, I talked about this before, but I think line work practice is probably the best type of practice you can do. It doesn't take a whole lot of time, like uh, we're just doing 15 minutes here, but if you do 15 minutes every day for uh, like a week, you'll notice you'll make some huge improvements. But yeah, it's just 15 minutes a day and uh, you're going to see some huge improvements in your overall drawing skills. You'll notice your perspective is going to get better, your anatomy is going to get better, even though you're not even practicing those skills. Line work is extremely important, it's super easy to practice, so I highly recommend you do this every single day. I keep saying that, but you have to do this every day. I think it also works great for uh, people suffering from art block where uh, they just don't feel like making anything, they don't know what to draw. But with this, because you don't have to use your brain to do any of it, it's pretty easy to just zone out and draw. So yeah, if that's a problem you suffer from, definitely give this a shot. Minute and a half left. There we go. I'm also doing this with stabilization completely turned off, in case you're wondering. 
I don't really think there's much point to doing this with stabilization turned on, because then, you know, the PC is helping you draw. And the, the brush I'm using is just the standard G-Pen that comes with Clip Studio Paint, except I adjusted the pressure sensitivity settings a little bit, and I turned the anti-aliasing completely off. So now, when I draw lines with it, you get this sort of effect. And uh, I think it looks nice, so that's why I'm using it. Ten seconds. Missed the countdown, but uh, three, two, one, and we're done. And that's it for the video. Like I said, be sure to do this every day. You can even come back and replay this video if you need extra motivation. The practice sheets are linked in the description, as well as our Discord server, Patreon, YouTube memberships. And uh, I guess I will catch you all in the next video.